Hi, I'm Ryan Hawkins with Newmind Group, and today we're going to take a look at the Samsung 303. Uh, it's been around for a little while, but we're going to just talk a little bit about it. Uh, durability is uh, one of the first things we talk about. It's a lower end as far as the price goes. Um, so as far as durability, there's a little bit of, uh, we've heard a little bit of feedback from people about um, concern about flex in the LCD area. Um, it does flex a little bit, but I would say no more than a, you know, a normal 11 inch uh, laptop. There is a little bit of um, feedback from teachers about the screen surround here. It's a little bit loose or it can tend to be a little bit loose. Um, students that are just kind of messing around, they can pop it off pretty easily. Nice thing, it'll pop right back on. Um, so not a huge deal on that. The weight feels nice in the hand, size is good. It's about two and a half pounds, 2.4 or so pounds. Um, the size is about the size of a textbook. Um, so when you're replacing those textbooks uh, and you're going one-to-one -one with students, uh, it's gonna feel pretty comfortable for them as far as you know, in their backpack, nice and small, uh, size and weight. The performance, when we open it up, takes about 11 seconds or so to boot up uh, to get to the login screen. So nice and fast, right when you open it up, it uh, immediately turns on. So if we go in and uh, start playing some YouTube videos, which is uh, going to show what the performance is like, you know, it's about average. It's it's it, it can handle YouTube. Um, so if we go to YouTube real quick, we can pop open a video. Plays it fine. Uh, when you get you know three four tabs open with YouTube videos, hopefully you're not watching them all at the same time. But uh, you know it can start to slow down a little bit, just like any other computer. Uh, since YouTube's fairly uh, fairly intensive. The other thing that we like to kind of make sure everyone's aware of is when you're talking about these devices, uh, you might want to consider screen print or uh, not screen printers, but cases. So cases are available for these. Um, sometimes schools are interested in insurance as well. Um, when we talk about insurance on these, because they're so cheap, uh, what we usually recommend is you just take that insurance money that you've maybe set aside. Um, to plan on purchasing insurance and buy some extra units. So that way it's really nice and fast to replace those units. Um, the other thing that we'll talk about real quick is the VGA uh, conversion. So it's got HDMI output here, this port. Um, some Chromebooks, you can convert HDMI to VGA uh, with a, what's called a passive dongle. These require an active dongle that does require power. There is a dongle that we sell that plugs into the USB port that will power that dongle. So it's, uh, it's an active conversion and uh, that, that dongle works out nice because then you don't have to plug it into the wall. So that's your quick look at the Samsung 303 Chromebook.